Hello everyone, happy Monday. It is 12th of April, meaning the UK is slightly going back to normal. I know I've got a lot of followers from other countries and if you're interested in knowing and what's going on in the UK, let me just tell you guys about the rules. So April 12th, meaning that non-essential shops are open so we can go shopping, we can go to Selfridges, Harrods and all of that stuff and I can't wait because I'm going to be vlogging myself, going shopping, I can't wait. Pubs and restaurants are open as well but we can only eat outdoors which is absolutely fine. I just hope it doesn't rain too much during spring spring because you know good old England and one household can stay over ah! I can't wait I'm literally gonna like beg my friends or like someone in my family to like stay with me whilst I stay in uh, my Airbnb and hairdressers and nail salons are open and so are gyms as well so I'm definitely gonna go hard at the gym because hot girl summer is coming and yeah I really want to look cute for summer as well hi Nathan <laughs> speaking of hot girl summer we bought Starbucks and it oh my god. Do you not say anything? The driver. Yeah, he did, he was uh sorry, yeah, yeah, he's at four and I was like, uh no worries, alright, it's fine. Was he a, was he a bike driver or Probably. Oh should have gone out to Maybe. Starbucks instead. I'm so mad, half my drink is gone. Uh, oh so annoying. I knew we should have gone out. <laughs> How about your drink? Your drink is fine. I haven't had matcha in so long. Anyway, sorry about that guys. As I was saying, last few days have been so stressful. Me and Nathan, you know, we've been testing each other a little bit, haven't we, babe? Uh, you've been trying to test me. <laughs> oh, it's been so stressful. I had a bit of a breakdown yesterday as well. I was like crying as well over something quite silly. I'll probably talk about it in another vlog. It's nothing serious, but to me, it's quite serious. It's basically about social media. I was crying over social media. I know, I know, I know. A bit silly to cry over. Charity makeup bundles. I am going to be packing up orders. I'm currently doing a list of um, customers who bought the charity bundles because a lot of you guys emailed me and you guys requested what type of products you wanted in your bundles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to customise these bundles and make sure they're really special and make sure that they're there's really good products in there as well for you guys I'm really nervous to do these types of bundles but but I know I'm going to have a good time packing them up and everything we managed to sell out in two hours as well I was going through my Shopify stats and um, most of the people who bought the bundles was from YouTube which is amazing to know oh yeah let me show you guys the apartment so we uh, booked a storage place and all of our stuff is pretty much in storage so let me show you the bedroom we're currently sleeping on an air bed i don't know if you guys remembered but in my last vlog i told you guys that me and nathan we found a family and they needed um, new furniture because they just moved into a new place and yeah we didn't charge them for the furniture either because we understand that times are really hard right now and we didn't want to like charge anyone so so yeah, we gave away our bed, we gave away the vanity table, and we gave away the chest of drawers as well. And we also had two bedside little tables as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased that they were happy with the furniture. Even though it was slightly chipped and scratched and everything, they were still really grateful and happy, which is so good to know. Um, this is my wardrobe, this is my gym wear, I'm gonna go to the gym later. I got this one over here as well, hello! Oh yeah, beauty room! Okay, let me show you guys the beauty room. So Nathan's sister came in and she took all the drawers out. Yeah, she's gonna come in either tomorrow or first. I don't know what day she's coming, but she's coming soon to pick up the units. And then I just prepared my little packing station. And here are all the beauty products. I took out all of the foundations. That's quite high in demand actually, complexion. I'm a bit nervous because I have to kind of guess what type of foundation shade you guys are. But yeah, made myself a little station. So there's the thank you cards and stickers as well. Some some people bought two bundles so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them in this um, box and then uh, people who bought one bundle it will come in this packaging so yeah I've got a super productive day today I've got to do the parcels I've got to go to the gym and I just got to try my best to relax as well because the past few days oh my god I don't know what's been going on but I've just been on edge I've just been on edge I feel like everyone's pulling me in so many different directions we're signing contracts as well for our new place and we've got to do the exchange as well which I'm quite nervous about because it's so much money to put down I'm just like oh my god buy money <laughs> anyway back to work oh my god I just got the cutest email I'm just going through all of my emails 
Shout out to Megan Lacey. And the fact that you found me on TikTok as well is insane because... I don't know, I feel like such an old soul on TikTok. Like I'm trying to get along with like, you know, all the trends and everything. But girl, <laughs> your sis is old. <laughs> Megan just launched a new brand called Soul Wax. I'm just going through it. It looks so cute. I'm definitely going to grab some. And they're so affordable as well. And it's a natural candle company as well. Like the pandemic hit people so differently. And I just feel like if there's any way that I could help small indie brands, I would do whatever I can to help them. So if you guys are looking for some new candles, definitely check out Soul Wax. They're based in the UK as well, which is so cool. Shout out to Megan Lacey. Thank you so much for sending me an email. And I will definitely be responding to you. I just got a really nice email from a woman called Kyren. I I'm hoping I said your name right. She said, um, congratulations on your new apartment. How nice is that? Who's she? Babe! Who's she? She's a follower. Oh, <laughs> oh, she emailed you. Yeah, because I, I made a work email for the charity bundles. Oh, that's nice. She says, congratulations on your new place and I wish you, Nathan, and your fur babies all the best. Oh, oh. so sweet. Okay, so she wants bougie stuff. I can definitely get some bougie stuff in the bundle. Oh my God, I'm getting a bit nervous. A lot of people are asking for skincare and I'm just like, do I have enough skincare to give to everyone? Honestly, I'm loving all the emails you guys have sent me. They're so sweet. I just came back from the gym. It was such a good session. It was so, I don't know. I don't want to say weird. That's not the right word, but like having that slice of normality. Like oh euphoric. my God. It felt so euphoric. It felt so good. I was sweating so much as well. And I really missed that feeling of doing the gym session and you just sweat loads. I felt like I had a really good workout. Uh, what did I do at the gym? I did half an hour on the treadmill. I tried to do 5K. It was really hard. If I take like five, six days off or a week off or whatever and i go back to working out i feel like i'm back to zero how's the treadmill because you've been running outside lately so oh i definitely prefer running outside oh really what it just i think it's just the fresh air okay <laughs> why are you laughing because it kind of sounds stupid i like running outside because of the fresh air but i don't know it's just a different environment and also when you're running on the treadmill you i, I see dominoes in front of me when i'm running on the treadmill because where my gym is opposite is dominoes and i'm just like running and i feel like i'm running to pizza when obviously i'm not yeah i really want to find like a route where we're going to stay temporarily in london mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a park so i can run around so where are you going to use gyms for mainly for weights and machines or you can give him a Q&A. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I want to get a fat ass for summer. Hot girl summer's pending. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to go shower and pack the bundles. <laughs> Okay, so the first customer we got is Zara. Hey girl, if you're watching this, how are you? So Zara is shade 220 in Fenty and I managed to find a e.l.f. camo concealer which I think will be similar to her shade. So um, yeah, hopefully this shade suits you, Zara. <laughs> <laughs> You need try. to trim your moustache, it's so long and fluffy. Go I know, they're with us. <laughs> Hello baby, you're so cute. And last time that I did the mystery makeup bundle, I sprayed my favourite perfume. This is the JLo Promise perfume and you guys really loved it when I sprayed each bundle with this perfume. So yeah, you have an idea of how I smell. <laughs> Just wrote a little note to Zara. And Zara, I really do hope that you like your mystery makeup bundle. I've tried to make sure that I had both skincare and makeup because I know that is something that you are um, looking for in a makeup bundle. And I realized I had some extra space and some extra spare products. So I went ahead and jammed in more products in the parcel. I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm trying my best to get rid of as much makeup and skincare products as I can in these mystery makeup bundles. And I got these really cute stickers as well from Amazon. So I'm gonna give Zara a cute little Chanel perfume and a good vibe sticker as well. Because we're all about good vibes here, honey. One down, 22 to go. Oh yeah. I do it aggressively, I just stab it. Perfect, that goes everywhere. Right, see it's better when you stab it. Stab. 
Stop. Stop. <laughs> Bubble tea check. Yeah, yeah. I want you to you, try. You, you, yeah, yeah. We need regular show. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see you try this kiwi, kiwi aloe vera juice thing. I like kiwi. I'm keen. Oh, it got so refreshing. The bits in there. Yeah. Oh, what bits did they put in there? The aloe vera. Do you like it? Is it okay? What is it? Well, at least we found what bubble tea you like. Me and Nathan have been searching for the ideal bubble tea for him. We found one aloe vera kiwi tea with some aloe vera bits as well. Mine is taro milk tea with pudding and what's the other one? Grass jelly. Oh yeah. Right, I'm putting my drink order over here that way I don't, you know, do any spillage on the products. <laughs> And for Demarsha, she's gonna have a cute little daisy and a cute little lemon as well. That's a smile on there. I can't wait for you to get your parcel, Demarsha. I hope you like it. Oh my god. I've been listening to Britney Spears. <laughs> I don't know what is going through my mind right now, but I just made a really nice parcel for Sarah, and I really do hope you like your parcel, Sarah. And I accidentally misspelled your name on the envelope, but in the card I spelled it right. <sighs> Guys, what is wrong with me? There you go. So for Sarah, I got her a little owl sticker. Reminds me of Harry Potter so much. And then I got her a little diamond as well, because she's a diamond girl. I really do hope you like your parcel, Sarah. If not, I'm so sorry and I don't know what to do. <laughs> products to go through and still got I think about maybe 10 parcels to complete so hopefully all of these products will be gone also guys oh my god oh my god oh my god this is so sweet oh it is my bedroom and look at what I found on the other bed look at these two oh my god he never sleeps on the same bed as pumpkin the one where Coco is this is his spot right here on the sofa <laughs> Are done. It is currently 1 a.m. I started doing this at 6 p.m. So yeah, to, it takes a long time to pack all of the parcels, even though I only had 23 parcels to pack, but 23, pro 23 parcels and only one person packing. Yeah, it's a lot, but it was so worth it. It was very satisfying and it was very enjoyable as well because just something to do during the day, you know, it's so nice to do something active and not do something that's like on my phone or anything because that is the one thing that I have noticed that I've been doing a lot recently is that I am just always on my phone just scrolling through social media and I'm not gaining anything from that but doing this I have gained a lot and I really do hope you guys enjoy the parcels the last person that I packed a parcel for was for a girl called Alicia I really hope you like your parcel Alicia because I did a little bit of stalking because I wanted to see uh, what type of like skin tone you are and I think I got a foundation shade that matches you so yeah I do try my best to do research on you guys um, that way when you do receive your parcel you have something that have products in there where you find useful and I just really hope that you guys like the products as well but yeah I'm so tired my eyes are like mm, like this <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the morning we go to the jersey your eyes say I'll be worried you said it was nothing but I know you get on today's agenda I've got so much going on today I don't even know where to begin so first of all we need to go to Royal Mail to drop off everyone's parcel so hopefully in the next two days you guys get your parcel again thank you so much to everyone who like for the mystery makeup bundle. I can't wait for Shopify to process the money so I can go ahead and donate the money to the charities. Gotta go get some breakfast. Got to send off the contracts today as well to my solicitors for my new home. Ah, oh my God. Today we are calling the solicitors and we're gonna do my deposit money. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is the day, guys. This is the day. And I'm so glad I'm vlogging all of this because I can look back and just remember it all and just watch myself again. And yeah. Ah! Bitch, I bought a home. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Everything that is going on today is all positive, but also a little bit stressful because when it comes to contracts and depositing money for your first home like it's my first time doing it all <laughs> i'm just trying my best to make sure that i don't miss anything out i don't do anything wrong because this is a very big deal a very life changing experience that i'm going through right now ah! also today i'm going to go to the gym as well and i'm going to try my best to do as much housework as i can and i'm going to try and relax by like 3 4 p.m because girl i am so tired these bags underneath my eyes what they were never there this is a contract guys <gasps> oh my god trolley with me because there were just so many parcels but hopefully you guys get your parcels in a couple days time hiya it's Liz. good news me and nathan we are going to go out again to the bank and we did it we did it we did it we did it we just went into the bag it was a long process but we did it oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm not oh finally finally this is something i have been dying to do for the past three months is doing the exchange finally we have done it just did a monstrous workout at the gym i feel so good so good and um nathan's sister's here as well and she managed to dismantle the packs oh my god my cats are gonna love being in here there's just so much space for them to run around in so this is just like an overview of how the bedroom looks oh So I can't see because I don't have my glasses or my lenses in But I just had the most sexiest shower ever You know when you're like really hot sweaty and grimy from a workout or you just like I don't know Did something and you just go ahead in the shower and you're just like oh my god this is amazing Tomorrow's gonna be my hair treatment day I want my hair to be a little bit more greasy before I actually wash it I'm trying to reduce the amount of times I'm washing it per week So I'm trying to wash my hair twice a week rather than three to four times a week like I used to Because I've noticed that my hair is looking more healthier when I wash it less and use less products such as like hairspray and stuff like that. But I've been using Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is amazing. My hair looks so much more healthier since using that and I highly recommend in checking this brand out if you are like looking into like growing your hair. So today I have pretty much done everything. Oh my God, first of all, I put down the exchange. I put down the exchange. I put down the exchange. Woo, woo, yeah. Oh, and I did my workout. Now, the things that me and Nathan are gonna do for the next like 24 hours is just pack and declutter, and that is it. I was so murked yesterday. I went to bed about nine. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, that's like my mood board, by the way. That's like my goals board. <laughs> but it is currently 5.22 a.m. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go to the gym because I'm going so early. Coco, I don't know why, but Coco is so hyper at this time. When it comes to during the day, he's like a granddad. He just sleeps all day. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to the gym today. Don't come any closer, my dear. 
Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen Oh my god, Coco, look at you Oh, he's so cute Oh, and then this one's like, um, I'm the baby and then this one's like, um, I'm the baby too. Okay, oh, this is your fourth time moving. Oh, hold on, wait, hold on. I'm third getting time. my, yeah. So this is Coco's third time moving with me. Yeah, he's such a good boy when it comes to moving as well. We're gonna bring blankets from this place to our temporary home. That way he knows that this is like a stable home. And then when we move into our proper home, oh girl, yeah, you're gonna get spoiled. Yes you are. Yes you are, yes you are, yes you are. And these two are already spoiled. <laughs> Five hours later. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm packing! <laughs> I'm done! I think I've packed everything. I went through the whole entire flat. I'm not going to show you guys how the flat looks because it looks really messy. But once me and Nathan are fully packed and the moving van comes tomorrow. So once everything's in the moving van, then I'll show you guys the tour of how the flat looks empty. Oh, honestly, I don't know what's pushing me through all of this because I'm so tired. Like, first of all, I'm proud of myself. I wake up at 5 a.m. That is something I do not do. And it is currently, it is currently 8 p.m. I did 15,000 steps. I haven't done that much exercise in like years. And I burned 2,000 calories, over 2,000 calories. <sighs> I just can't wait to just settle into this new temporary home. Can't wait to chill out in my Airbnb for the next six weeks and then do all of this again. Good morning! Today's the official day of moving! Into my temporary home. I'm not joking, I literally just woke up and I cannot wait to sleep on a proper bed because this air bed is, 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 is doing my back in. Oh my god, look, it literally deflates as you're sleeping as well. Oh, hello baby! Do you want to say good morning? Oh, kisses! Yay! Oh, we did it again, guys. We woke up about 5 a.m. and I'm really loving it. Starts a lovely morning. I just broke a cup. Some of the shenanigans you experience when moving. Oh my god, baby, what are you doing? Every time I come home, she's always on the table, on the sofa, or hiding somewhere. And today she decided to be on the table. You're so cute! Meet my mum, guys. <laughs> this is her favourite cat. <laughs> what, what do you want to do? We're gonna move this into storage. Okay, so I just gave some extra bits to my mum. Shout out to you, mum. Oh my god, mums are the best, I swear. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what my flat looks like now that everything is packed, which I cannot believe I'm gonna say that because, wow. So, this is the front door, and as you step in, it's this little mini hallway. And then, the room in front is the master bedroom. Oh my god, it's so big! Oh my god, it is big enough to fit mine and Nathan's super-sized king bed. The only problem is about this place is that it's a basement apartment, so we don't get that much natural light. Saying that, I still really enjoyed living here. Um, but yeah, natural light was a little bit of an issue. I love natural light. I know some people aren't fussed about it, but to me, natural light is very important. <laughs> so... Coming out, when you walk into the hallway, is the second bedroom, and this was my beauty room. This was my beauty room, and this is where all 
work opportunities came to life. This is where YouTube videos were filmed. This is where so many memories were created. So many good and bad memories, <laughs> but memories are memory, right? Yeah, I can't believe my massive packs fit in here as well. Never again am I gonna buy a massive makeup organizer. I just feel like it's not worth it. Personally speaking, anyway, I know it's really dreamy and I know it's amazing to have storage specifically for your makeup, but I think because I owned one, I don't think I want to go down that route again. This was where my filming setup was. Now it's all gone. In my new place, I want to put my filming setup kind of like tweez where you screw the lights onto the walls. That way I don't have any tripods or anything like that lying around. It will make more space for walking as well. This room has an ensuite. I call it the cat's bathroom because it literally was. We tidied it up empty the shower again not that much natural light also my toilets has its own little tower I call it the tower <laughs> um hello baby girl hi you excited to move you excited to move i hope you don't wait yourself in the in the uber <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, there was also a wardrobe in here as well, which we managed to empty out. This is where all of my um, technology equipment was. And you come out of here. There was a door, but the door's blocked and that door would go into the living room. Uh, this is the second bathroom. Oh my God, that was so echoey. So different now that it's empty. Oh, this is where the cats would have their baths. <laughs> This is where I'll get ready in the morning. <laughs> Pumpkin following me everywhere. Come on. Good girl, follow mommy. And then, this is the front room. We're giving these sofas away to the new tenants because they wanted it. And um, we don't need sofas to be honest uh, because we're staying in a temporary home. <laughs> and then in here is the kitchen with a massive fridge. Yeah, this is mine and Nathan's second home. We will be moving into our actual home, hopefully by June. Praying, 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 praying. I mean, we sent off contracts, we did the exchange. Um, the solicitors and the developers got all that information and all that work and stuff. And yeah, we're slowly getting there, guys. It's just a very long process. Everyone's been so positive as well. And I think that's what really helps me and Nathan get by because we felt like we were, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, I felt like I was being really silly because of the situation that I'm in. I thought, oh my God, it had to happen to me and Nathan. Like, of course it had to. But everyone's just been so positive, even my family as well, which is really surprising. <laughs> Cause I thought my family would like be judgmental and tell me off, but they were surprisingly really supportive and really caring. So yeah. <sighs> Pumpkin, what's wrong? What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, you're booping me. All right, now I will see you guys in my temporary home. Hello, and we have made it into my new temporary home, which means flat tour. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. I'm not joking guys, I had a bit of a heart attack earlier, but I'll explain it in just a moment. I'm just show you guys the flat. It's a really cute hallway, and this is the first bedroom. This is gonna be Nathan's um, gaming room. I decided to give Nathan his room because in our previous apartment, I had my own room, and because he's a gamer, I thought, you know what, babe, you have your own room. And then opposite is the bathroom. It's so nice and big and spacious. Got a beautiful waterfall shower as well. A bathtub, oh yeah. And we got double sinks with drawers as well. Oh my God, this is a dream. This is what I want to have in my new apartment. Toilet over there. Hi baby. Oh my God, you give me a heart attack sometimes. I'll explain what happened in the car with him specifically. Um, this is the second bedroom. So this is gonna be mine and Nathan's master bedroom, but I'm also gonna film in here as well. So this is gonna be like my little backdrop for filming. Um, I'm gonna try my best to film mainly most of my content in natural lighting. This is a bit of the boring room. Well, it was a cupboard, shall I say. It's where duvets, fans, and 
Hoover and stuff. And then this is the second bathroom. We're probably gonna put the cat litter in here because we have a robo litter and the robo litter takes up a lot of space and I don't think me and Nathan are gonna use this bathroom as much. So we're probably gonna put the robo litter in here so that could be the cat's bathroom. And then we have the beautiful open plan kit. Don't mind the, the, the gaming chair, okay? <laughs> it's quite big so I have to like shove it in a corner temporarily. So this is the open plan kitchen. And then we have... Nathan and my cat to, meowing. Pumpkin. All right, pumpkin, come here, baby. Hey, you are. Hey, girl. Hey, pumpkin, come on. Did you get lost? Oh, Killua's here as well. Hey, Killua, you're all safe now. I like she walked in here and was like, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> traveling with cats can be a bit oh, baby scary because they're under so much stress. Is she okay? Yeah. We need to hurry up and find that blanket from home so they can smell it and know that this is their home. Anyway, yeah, so the beautiful open plan kitchen to the living room, massive beautiful TV, lovely sofa, nice little dining table, got a G-shaped um, bar as well. So I'm probably gonna put my work desktop here because it's got a plug there. Cause I was, I was gonna buy like a, um, like a desk but now I thought, well, I've got this, so I may as well just work there. Pumpkin, it's okay. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Do you want me to go under the bed with you? Yeah? You want me to stay here with you? Okay, I'll stay here with you. Okay, let me just explain to you the shenanigans that I experienced the past 30 minutes. Okay, so met the Airbnb owner of this property. Super nice guy. Oh my God. Honestly, having someone who's really nice to, um, to host you in the Airbnb makes things so much easier and stress-free. And um, the first thing I did was obviously get my cats, put them straight into the bedroom, let them out of the cages. Um, I have to put my animals in a cage because we were in a van and it wasn't owned by me or Nathan or anyone in our family. It was owned by a professional company. And obviously I wanted to respect his property by having the cats in the cage. Um, as soon as we, as soon as I let the cats out of the cage, Coco went stealth, okay? I'm not joking, I put the cats in a bedroom, opened the um, cages so they can roam around the bedroom, I closed the bedroom door, I remember doing that, and I walked in and I was like, okay, I can see the twins, but I can't see Coco, what's going on? And then me and the man in the van, we were just like, oh my god, where's the cat? Where's the cat? Where's Coco? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, where's the cat? And we were just like, looking everywhere. And then for some reason, I felt like he was hiding behind pillows. So he was literally hiding right there, right there, guys. He was right there like this. I'm not joking. And me and the man in the van, we were just like looking everywhere. We were looking up the curtains, in the drawers, in the wardrobe, but he wouldn't be able to open a wardrobe. I know he was just right here. Honestly, my cats are gonna be the death of me and Killua, oh my god, I was panicking for Killua because he was breathing really heavily and panting when we was in the car and I was just like, oh my god, can we just like hurry up and get to this property so I can let him out? Guys, my heart is like racing. I'm a little bit all over the place, I'm so sorry. It just feels kind of good knowing that me and Nathan are stable, we have a roof over our head, we've got lots of plans in the next few weeks in terms of content and I just can't wait to go back to a normal working routine, like I haven't posted anything on Instagram or TikTok for a while and I just can't wait to just chill out for the next few weeks until we move into our proper property. Yeah, I'm just gonna like go love and cuddle my cats as much as I can because they're obviously under a lot of stress. So yeah, watch out for next week's vlog. You, mister. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Coco. Can we say bye? Say bye, Coco. Hi, baby.